Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you're new here, uh, I hope to earn your subscription today and for all of my loyal fans, I will have yet another Mustang update for you. You can probably guess what it is though. Hey, so today we are going to be hacking apart my 71 K5 Blazer. Why? Well, because the quarter panels are in really bad shape. I have new quarter panels and one new door. I've ordered another door for the driver's side because it's pretty bad. And I've ordered another rocker panel for the other side because it is rusted out. Let me show you. Lovely rust. And there's some way back here as well. So there's a few dents in it. I, I, I'm just gonna replace it. It's easier. This fender has some rust, but I think I'm gonna try and fix that. All the body gaps lined up real nice. Everything's looking really good. There's some minor adjustments that need to be done, but the lines are straight. That's what I needed. So everything looks really nice. Really, really good. Rocker boxes are on. They're the, they're the structural supports that support the part where the door is. And it goes from back here where that bolt on this section is right here. That's the back side of it. And it welds to the bottom of the floor pan where the uh, structural ribs are and then it welds to the front uh, where the firewall is. What we're going to do today is we're going to cut off these quarter panels. Main reason is, is they are in really bad shape. This one's probably the worst. Obviously you can tell someone used a dent puller. What's weird is they drilled the holes. It doesn't look they actually screwed anything in because normally those things will be volcanoed out. Actually, let me show you something. So let me show you, ooh, gnarly dents. Even back here, even worse. And I think the worst thing I saw on this, so look at this, there's two screws left. Don't know why. And then they did some brazing. <laughs> okay, well, so that's one reason. I replaced this fuel door here. There was a fuel door. You can see the outlines of the welds. But there's there's other dents here. So you can see there's a huge dent here above the fuel door. I think there's a dent in the rocker. Or maybe it was on the other side. Huge dent in the rocker. Lots of hammer marks here right below my weld. This one wasn't great. I, I'm, I agree I didn't do a, a phenomenal job on that. But it was after I found all this and I didn't really care i had already made up my mind i was going to order quarters because of that and in one of my first videos i actually hammered this out because this was folded up and this actually came out really good i mean it looks really nice but it doesn't matter now there's a, some other dents up here looks like it's from the tire carrier probably was in an accident actually i know it was in an accident the tailgate looks great tailgate's about the straightest thing on tailgate and the hood both doors. This, this thing's been through some stuff, man. One reason I put all the metal back on here and lined everything up is because I want to make sure it's in the proper position before we start cutting major parts off the truck. You start cutting major parts off the truck, things start to move around. They might not go back in exactly how you meant them and then you'll have problems lining stuff up in the future so making sure everything's lined up first is critical before you start replacing a big panel like this i gotta move the truck forward probably to this area right here take the top off of it put it down lower so it's a, at a reasonable height to work on and then we'll start hacking apart the, the quarter panels we like hacking
Something I want to show you while I got the top off. We still have really great reveals without the top. And why that's important, because that means the rocker boxes are doing their job. Okay. Excellent. Now, for the most part, these bedsides are complete. They have the inner fender and the outer fender already put together. So for the most part, these things actually just bolt to the truck. I think on the back of the truck, I saw that there were some welds here near the tailgate. Uh, but look, there's just nothing but bolt holes. Bolt, 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 bolt. So we gotta go unbolt a bunch of stuff out of here. See, here's, here's the weld I was talking about. But bolts, 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 bolts. Probably gonna take the inner fenders out or the inner wheel well. Bolt, 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 bolt. They're not gonna come off super easy, honestly. They're gonna, they're gonna fight me a bit. But let's go ahead and start, let's go start unbolting stuff. Just about ready to take this off. Uh, so as I opened up this little piece of rocker panel right here, I can see that there's two more bolts. And those bolts huh, are in here. Do, 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 do. Should be right there. I can't see them. I can stick my phone in this hole and see them, but uh, I'm gonna have to do this blind, but that's pretty okay because they're pretty easily reached. In that hole. This actually looks cool. This is the problem I'm having right now. Everything's unbolted. However, behind this piece, right here, there's welds holding this outer panel on. I can't really get a grinder in there. I don't want to cut this metal off. So I end up cutting, I'm going to cut the quarter panel on the outside in the jam up the side a little bit to the body line maybe. And then just a couple inches off the floor pan. I gotta get that cut off. It's the only way this thing's gonna come out. I should have done this. Well, I should have replaced the driver's side quarter panel when I did the rocker because I'm gonna have to destroy part of it. Maybe, maybe not, I'll figure it out. That side is gonna be way more difficult than this side. This side's already been tons of fun. I like that though, that looks nice.
Oh my God. Hi puppies. So we got this whole area cleaned up. Everything that is gonna be covered with metal, I'm actually going to be spraying it with some more 2K epoxy primer. Uh, areas that get weld, so there's like a, a little area right here that gets welded on the back here. I, I might just do this whole thing right here in weld through primer. Uh, but all this here I'm going to do in epoxy primer. Okay. And this is what I'm using. Well, here we go. It looks pretty good. We got good gaps here. Lines up actually better than the original door. Good gaps up front. Got a little bit larger gap on this side than the back side. But not, not bad. Not bad at all. I've heard horror stories about these things and to tell you the truth, I am not unhappy. So we got... Uh, Got the passenger side pretty much lined up. Time to tackle the driver's side. Man, this thing is jacked up. Hey, look, a dog. Things you're gonna have to do if you're doing one of these bedsides, you have to cut that weld. Now, I don't know if yours has that weld. I will tell you that this truck was far different from that side to this side. Very, very different. So. I'm not sure if that was factory or if that was put in later. There was also a weld underneath that I had to cut. In the dark, let me see if I can turn the, hold on. So cutting that weld in there is gonna be very, very difficult because it's behind this. I need to save that VIN plate. It's actually, yeah, gotta save it. All right. Just make sure before you cut this thing off that your gaps are good and leave your door tight. Fender's tight, door's tight. Because when you put this on, you got to make sure it lines up here. Roger, roger. All right, I think I cut through all that. Oh. 
perfect. Okay, all the bolts are out. All of them. All the ones I need out are out. So my dad and I got the quarter panel on and I'm so sorry that the GoPro died right in the middle of that. And I wasn't gonna take it off and put it back on because that's just kind of a pain in the butt. It went on really easy, it looks really good. I mean, I, had, I haven't done any adjustments. Profile looks good, the gaps look good. Real, real happy. So I have a lot of things to do before I get this thing all bolted in. None of the bolts have been cleaned. So I gotta do that before I start putting this all together. I'll put the seam sealer in a little later. I'm not gonna do that right away either. And uh, I got this strap just kind of holding the top together because these flop around just a little tiny bit. I just wanted to make sure that my gaps on the sides were good. And to tell you the truth, I, I like them. I think they're real good. The tailgate itself it is warped. It had this exact same issue when it was attached to the truck before. And it stuck out a little on this side. That just tells me, and you can kind of see if you look along this top rib. Eh, and the camera looks straight, but not in real life. It looks a little bent. So, not a big deal. I've actually straightened uh, a truck tailgate before. I'll get that straightened up so it lines up better, so the profile's much nicer. All right? All right, so I have still not heard from uh, Scott's Hot Rods regarding my chassis that's supposed to be ready sometime. Uh, tomorrow makes one full month, actually today, 
it'll probably be when the video comes out. I'm gonna try and put this out on Friday. So it'll be one full month since I got the email from Jeff at Scott's Hot Rods, who said I would be contacted in two weeks. So he's two weeks overdue. And I haven't called them because I'm not gonna to be too nice. And to tell you the truth, when they call me or if they call me, I'm not gonna be nice then either. So hey everybody, thank you so much for following along. Please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll let you know when I hear on the Mustang. If I ever do hear on the Mustang. I don't care if it's even in the middle of the week. I'm gonna cut some pieces out of here for some custom stuff. Not on the door, obviously, but I wanna fill in the fuel door.